Good morning. Shall we begin the session? Yes, in the Friday's class we have finished with yes, we have finished till the designing phase, but one part is left over that is the prototype. This you know, this I'm going to cover within that today's class. That is what is the prototyping, how it is used, what are the various benefits of using the prototyping. So next part that is used is the prototyping. So that strategy that is used for determining the user information is used when the user cannot establish information that needs accurately before the information system is built. So whenever we want to or whenever the user want to determine the user requirement that is used. Whenever the user cannot establish the information that needs accurately before the information system is built. The reason it could be the lack of the existing model. So this is a third strategy that is used for determining the user information that is used when the user cannot establish information that needs accurately before the information system is built. And the reason it could be or it could be the lack of the existing system or model into which into which the base requirements or difficulty in visualizing the candidate system. In this case, the user needs to anchor or realizing or realize situations from which adjustment can be made. Therefore, whenever the uh, iterative discovery approach captures or uses an initial set of information requirements and also builds a system to meet those requirements or these requirements. And whenever we are using the gain or whenever we are using the experience that is used by the product. So therefore the iterative decision also captured what are the various feedback, what are the various scenarios that is captured over here, that is built over here to meet the requirements. And as an ends, uh, when the user gains the experience in its use, it also requests additional requirements for the modification that is iterations in the system that is in essence information requirements are discovered by using the system and this is suitable in the environment where it is very difficult to formulate a concrete model for defining information requirements and where the information needs of the users are involving such as in the DSS that is the decision support system. So whenever we are using the DSS that is decision support system this is one of the new strategies that is followed up for the prototyping for the requirements of the user. Now, which of the three uh, strategies is selected that depends on the uncertainties in the presence or in the process of determining information requirements. So what are the various strategies that is followed up that also depends on the uncertainty that is available in determining the information requirement that is uncertainty with respect to the stability of the information requirement, the user's ability to articulate the information requirements and the ability of the analyst to elicitate the requirements and evaluate their accuracy. What is the accuracy that is available to accurate the requirement and the final strategy is for using the low uncertainty requirements or that is used over here that is used for the prototype strategy that is available for the uncertainty information requirements. The next is how to manage the project review and the selection that is the managing the project review and the selection. Then information system committee method that is used. So the main responsibility is for reviewing the project request is assigned a committee to a manager and analyst in the, in the information system department and the, this method all the requests for the service whatever the request that is given for the service development are submitted directly to a review committee within the information system department and that information system committee approved or disapproved the project and sets the priority that indicate which project are the most important and should receive the immediate attention so which is more important which 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 is very important to for the immediate feedback that is used with the um, immediate effect that is very important and also receive the immediate attention and this method can be used only when there is a request for the routine services for the routine task that is available also maintenance on the existing application whatever the application that is available over here 
and for these projects information system staff member can also offer good insight into the project requirement whatever the project requirement that is available or that is used in the information system and in addition by working with the other projects System developers can have access to the information about where the firm is not moving over role, an important consideration for the effective project selection. Sometimes when the major decision or the major equipment decision must be made or when long term requirements can be made out, so it is very necessary to deal with the, to undertake a project, the decision authority is shared with the senior executive who determined whether a project should proceed or whether it should go to the project methods. However, sharing the project decision authority may also confuse users who, who do not or who want to know how the committee will make the decisions about a request, what is the main target for requesting the or uh, for taking the request and in addition if the top manager and the system managers disagree with the merit and the propriety of the tag then there is a disturb of the handling of the future certain requirements. The next is the user group committee method that is used for the project decisions that is delegated to use themselves for the individual department or the division that is hire their own analyst and the designs. Although the practice of having the users committee was chose or was choose and develop system that takes care or that does take care some of the burdens from the system requirement. And it can have disadvantages for the users also. For example, when there are a number of the student or number of a small department that working independently towards the same goal, same task that could go for the waste resources, that could also miss the opportunity to coordinate planning of a shared and integrated information system that also benefit the entire firm. Whatsoever the entire firm that is that provides the facility, the computer facilities that can be used if the system development team is not made aware of the future demands. And that are the various facility that is planned out throughout the farm that is used with the user group that may find at its process throughout the farm. And some user group may also find themselves with a defective or poorly designed system that also requires additional time and effort to undergo the change or damage or misappropriation or the misinformation. And although a user group may also find the decision of steering the committee and the information system, whatsoever the information system that is available that also disappointing at the time and the success rate for this and the success rate for the data that is available that also disappointed with the success rate who take on the development job that is not very encouraging and the membership often rotates each or under each of the committee format committee task that is used uh, uh, for say 6 or 12 or And the membership changes are scattered to avoid the changing the entire membership at all the time. Now, next is what are the various other methods that is available. So other approaches are also tried out from time to time, although usually with much less space or with much less success that is available with the data that has already been used. And some organizations also use have a management committee, planning committee that is used and the main purpose is for creating the new project that is available with the with the data, with the with the fetching out the data that is required with the planning out phase that is required with the user defined phase. And some of the organizations have a management planning committee that have a purpose also. That have a new project which in turn is completed or evaluated by the system development or the system department staff managers. And this method also suffers from the lack of the user involvement as well as the limited insight into the technology. What is the limited insight into the technology that is dealt with or that is av available with the data with the usage.
and some organization have a management planning committee that that purpose the new project which in turn evaluated by the system development staff members and this method also suffers from the lack of the user involvement as well as the limited insight to the technology whatever the insight technology that is available within the technology now in still all other cases department managers are able to bypass the organization committee in, in department to contact with the independent system companies that handles all the analysis and the design work for the project and the disadvantage of this approach is the possibility that the department can sponsor the development of a system while the information system group or the upper management is completely unaware that the project is going on or is in the making Now next is the preliminary investigation. So whether a system will be developed by means of the SDLC prototyping strategies or the structured analysis method. So there is a combination of these methods this project requires that should first be viewed. And the choice of the development strategy is secondary to whether a request merits the investment of organization resources, whether it is used in the information system project. So whether it is used in the preliminary investigation, whether it is reviewed, whenever it is available and it is also advisable for all the purpose to be submitted to the selection committee for identifying or to identify uh, to evaluate what are the various beneficial methods that is used with the organization that is very beneficial to the organization and this is carried out by other systems also and a list also that is working under the direction of the selection committee this is a scope of the study what we have studied that is first is clarify understand the project request then determine the size of the project assess the cost and benefit of the alternative approaches determine the technical and the operational feasibility of the different approaches report the findings to management with recommendation that outlines acceptance or the rejection of the pro proposal then uh, these are the few points the next one is conducting the investigation how to conduct the investigation that has been carried out with the requirement the data that the analysts collect during the Preliminary investigation are gathered through two primary methods that is reviewing the documents and also interviewing the selecting methods or selected company personnel that is used with the investigation. So first is review the organization document. Why we are you reviewing the organization? So we must ensure that it must be affected by the project. It must be reviewed by the project. Then conducting the interviews. The interviews are conducted out so that the features are fulfilled so that the documents are fulfilled. So next is conducting the interviews or so written documents, written, written, written document that also tells the analyst how the system will work, how they are followed up, how they operate, but they may also not include all the enough, but other various enough detail that allows a decision to be made about the merits of a system proposal, nor do they present the user views about the current operations. An interview also allows analysts to learn more about the nature of the project request and the reasons for submitting it. And to accomplish the purpose of the interviews, analysts must be sure to emphasize the request and the problem it addresses. In other words, whatever the interview that should provide that, that explains the project and shows whether the assistant is merited economically, operationally and the technically. And also working out a solution to the situation comes later. during the detailed investigation. Now next is testing the project feasibility. So this is also used to examine the project feasibility like the likelihood of the system that must be used with the organization and three tests of feasibility all equally important are studied that is operational that next one is technical the next one is financial so one is operational feasibility that whether the whether the project is fully operational or not whether we have to build a new system whether we have to develop a new system that is operational then what are the various techniques that is what, are, what is the technical support that is needed for the for the project that is the technical feasibility then last one is a financial feasibility how much money is required for the financing how much money is required for the feasibility for building a system that is a financial feasibility. So one is operational, one is technical, one is financial.
these are the technical issues so the first one is sorry first one is operational whether there is a, a sufficient support for for the project from management from the users are the current business method applicable or acceptable to the users then and does an unnecessary technology exist to to do what is suggested does the proposed equipment have a technical capability ability to hold the data to hold the requirement that is required to use the system to manage the system can the system be managed or be expanded if developed the next one is financial and the economic feasibility what are the various finance that is required what are the various economics that is what are the various cost benefit analysis how much cost is required how much benefits are required that is the cost benefit analysis So a system that should be developed or that can be developed technically and that will be used, installed must give a good investment for the organization. That includes a financial benefit that must equal or exceed the cost. And the financial and the economic questions raised by analysts during the investigation are the main purpose of estimating the system. So first is the cost to conduct a full system investigation the cost of hardware and the software for the class of application being conducted and the class nothing nothing uh, changes that means everything is same functions are same but yes that is we we are not going to change anything the proposed system is not developed because everything is okay we are considering the economic feasibility uh, the cost amount whatever the feasibility that is stated about and to be judge feasible a project personnel must pass all these tests otherwise it will not suffice feasible system if the if there is any any uh, feasibility that may be a technical operational financial if then anything is lacking out so that is not a perfect system that is not a good system now how to handle if i know that this system is not feasible for my organization so how how we handle or how uh, we can say the uh, manager will handle the infeasible system so each and every project that is submitted for the evaluation and the review are judged acceptable and there the request that fails to pass the feasibility test that is known as the infeasible system in this cases yes in these cases there is a enough information that is suggested out for the improvement in the management the supervision not the development of the information system because that is infeasible that is not in use but for the future run we have to take care of the team of the system analyze we have to take care of the team of the system developer everything we have to search out so that again same mistake cannot happen that is the main thing so this is how the manager is yes how the manager is handling out the infeasible systems all right yes this is summary of this chapter that is how to use the stlc what is the main step that is there are four 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 primary sources of the project request uh, one is the organization that is the department manager one is the senior executive system analyst and shared resources complete accurate information whatever the information that is required and nowadays every information is required in the computer based information system computer based means cbis computer based information system that is available to build on the system that is available to use on the system and we are using the CAM or ACM that is the association for the computing machinery that also used the committing on the uh, computing education that holds out the data that is used for the management that recognizing the two distinct job title for the system projects now there, there are three uh, key strategies or the general approaches for eliciting the information regarding the user information one is asking then getting the information from the existing system and then prototype 